your planning board meeting order. Can we all rise for a pledge of the flag? <laughs> I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Call attendance, please. Here. 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 Okay. Um, all the board members who received the minutes from the November 18th meeting. Um, there's no comments regarding the minutes. Uh, we get a motion to approve the minutes. I'll move that. Second. Okay, motion made say second. All in favor? Aye. Any opposed? Okay, so motion carries. All right. Um, being that we started this evening at 7 o'clock, uh, our first item on agenda is a public hearing. We're going to hold that off until later in the, the later towards the end of the meeting uh, due to the fact that the publication was put out for 7.30, um, just so that the public has the opportunity to get here in ample time. Um, so that will put us into our discussions this evening. So our first item uh, for discussion is the Kowalski lot line realignment. Um, basically, we have a uh, resolution to vote on tonight. Um, let's see what I did there we go. Okay. Um, everybody's received the... Uh, the resolution. Um, is there anybody here tonight from Kowalski? Okay. Do you want to I'll come on up? myself, Timothy Kowalski. <laughs> yep, okay. <laughs> and I'm here for the lot line. Okay. Did you've received a copy of the resolution from the planner? We uh, I, so I had something in email, but I got some more information that they wanted to bring forward as far as uh, uh, deeds and uh, taxes paid. Okay, yeah, it was a um, two, it was a six page document that you got. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we did we did forward a copy via email, so I'm, okay. I'm sure that's what yeah, you received. Yeah, I believe received. this is what I've read. Okay, yeah, because you said they were asking for information regarding yes, the certain information. Okay, that I have okay so you you've read the resolution. Yes, I have no no comments concerns no. regarding it. Okay, so as long as you have no objections to the resolution. Um, you get a motion to approve the resolution for. I'll make that motion. Second. Okay, motion's made and seconded. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Any opposed? Okay, so the motion carries. Okay. So basically, you've gotten your approval. Um, Thank you. We'll go ahead and just meet the. You just have to meet the conditions written in the, in the approval. Just stay in contact Sorry, with the secretary, and uh, once you've met them all, we'll sign off and. Okay. Uh, you all um, set. Thank you very much. You're welcome. You got them. Okay. Well, the Mr. Kowalski, just one. Um, I guess we'll need a deed transferring title for the strip from the one property owner to the other. So, you know, whatever the, the strip of property is, yeah. it's going to go from one. Are, are they in, both in the same name? No. The one is uh, my mother's, was in my mother's okay. name, and she has that. I mean, there's an exe executor on that. Okay. <coughs> and then the other's mine. Are they both going into the same owner? No, or no? So I'm just taking one more acre. Okay, so that. what you're going to need is a, a, a separate deed which is going to get recorded in the county clerk's office, um, which is going to transfer ownership of that strip from the existing owner to you. Won't that happen after the map's filed? It should go in that same time. Yeah. Okay, separate deed transferring property of the strip to me. And they can, the survey can give you a meets and bounds description of that strip. Okay. 
Okay? Okay. And if you have, sure. Okay. <coughs> All right. Our next item is uh, 266 to Hackensack Road, roof mounted solar panels. What's that? Come on up. The last time we came, we had to get um, FAA approval and then also approval from the airport. And we had to do um, get a special piece of software to show that the glare was not going to impede with anyone mm -hmm. flying into the airport, which was quite the experience going through that. It was <laughs> the first time doing a solar system. But uh, we got that program, gave it to our engineer, and we got both approvals from the airport to move forward. So. I think we sent in all of those documents. One was from a letter from the FAA, and the other one was from the director of aviation at the airport. Okay. Um, you've received a copy of the resolution from the planner? Uh, I believe so. Dated uh, January the 3rd. Yes, yep. Okay. You've, uh, you've Read the resolution, um, so we have no questions regarding. No. Okay. Um, all right. So at this point, we've a uh, need to get a motion to approve the resolution of site I'm, plan. I'll make that motion to approve. Okay. So motion's been made. I'll second that. Okay. Seconded. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Any opposed? <clears throat> okay. So motion carries. Okay. So you're all set. Just. Whatever needs to be addressed in the resolution, get the paperwork in and uh, go from there. Awesome. Thank you very much, Ariel. Okay. Well. Okay. Next item on the agenda is a Hindu Samaj amended site plan uh, to discuss a parking lot addition. Since, since you saw the plan last time, they will be abandoning the driveway to the house. The occupants of the house will just park up in the parking lot and walk in to the house. Um, the, lo the location, where we're proposing location of the drive, will need to meet with the highway super and the town engineer for confirmation that they accept that. But in November, was the time to meet with that highway super, so we have to wait until so it changes over. We'll be doing that, getting together with him to, and the next I'll call him our such meeting to confirm the location. All right, I haven't seen anything yet unless he has. Yeah. Uh -huh. at this point. We, we've been out there, the site distance looks good to us, but I haven't been the site distance yet until I have this thing set. So we'll be meeting with two on that. Yeah. Well, I guess we received both the letter from the planner and the engineer regarding the, you know, their reviews? I had not received the engineer one. I did receive the planner. You did receive, you so you didn't receive one from the engineer? No, I did not receive one from the engineer. Uh, I'm sorry, I was supposed to be emailed over to you I last, last Friday. I saw the planner. From Michelle. The lights. Well, maybe we, well, what we'll do is we'll have we'll have Pete go through yeah. the through the letter in its entirety with you real quick. Sure. 
um, and then we could discuss whatever issues come up with that, and then um, and then we can go go from there. Okay. Um, I think the first thing we should probably uh, probably go over is the um, circulation. Although uh, I think I think Sarah's office will cover some of it also, but um, Michelle, we had our um, workshop meeting um, night earlier. And there was a lot of discussion about uh, the um, circulation in, in through here. So it seems like uh, the consensus uh, amongst uh, the planning board members and <coughs> the consultants was that um, we look at making uh, a change where uh, w cars, cars coming in would be able to go to the right. Um, turn this uh, around, make this uh, one way, uh, this way, but also uh, allow them and uh, keep keep what you have. So basically cars entering would be able to go either up on the center aisle or come towards uh, the right side and um, come in. That would make um, all, the, all the traffic having to come out through uh, the new parking lot and then uh, like exiting. So it would be better to get uh, more people in and um, control the exiting um, movement, make it a little bit easier than having two, having two potential um, exiting um, here. And then uh, at the same time, um, striping this so that even though, we, even though we're not gonna change the actual size of the lot, um, Angle these angle these parking spaces in um, both of these lots here that are going to be uh, one way. Um, angle them so it does give more of the appearance uh, of uh, a one way aisle. And then one of the comments that we had um, before you know we talked about this um, possible change is even up in this in this new lot. You know again being it's going to be a uh, one, one one way. Uh, design it like that, you know, to go with, I forget, I think it's a 16 foot aisle and then go, you know, with angular parking spaces that would, um, that would cut down on uh, the width of the, width of the lot uh, a little bit, which would also help uh, with drainage runoff. So um, maybe we want to have that like discussion first about, you know, the circulation, the circulation that was around the big property. Topic. Yeah, I so. mean, the, the, the circulation, I mean, it kind of makes sense to, you know, just for that one intersection. Um, I understand what you're saying. Um, the temple asked us to do this, but they felt it would work best from what they've seen. But the other issue is that this is steep, these driveways are steeper. This is all pretty flat. So in the winter, they thought that most people would be using that here and they wouldn't have to worry as much about traffic using this. It's a great way to six or eight percent of the The other thing, when you go to handle parking, you can only save two and a half feet of width for two and a half feet of parking spaces. Because I looked at putting angle parking up here. I'm trying to visualize it. If it's, if it's causing a conflict, then and people are coming down. And I several spaces. And the center. The width across here is 60 feet. And if I went to say it's 60 degree angle, parking will only go down to 57 and a half. And that's for the town code. But how could that be, though? It's the, uh, uh, you know, the aisle way. There you go. Oh, gotcha. Thank you. If the aisle way, if the aisle way is going to be reduced from from, from 24 to be, 8. Because when they do the angle parking, you have, it actually, the, the measurement comes from here. Yeah. So this asphalt is over here. Okay. Here's the town code with the. Okay. All right. Well, we'd have to look at that with you. So, so that's the, the only two reasons. I mean, yes, logically it seemed like you go in and come out, but they in their experience, they felt that this would work better with how their, how their um, operations work. Are they going to salt the whole parking lot in the winter when the time comes? Are they going to shut off that top parking lot? I'd have to confirm with them. All I know is that they said that 
this would be a little bit steeper, so they didn't plan that they'd probably use it very much. I'm not sure when their um, busiest days are. But I, what I'll do is, I mean, I'm not completely shutting it down. I'll talk to them about this. Because the way they have it now, they have a confusion at that intersection with three parking lots. Yeah, yeah, it's, yeah. you know, this is a stop. This can go either way. Yeah. It's kind of, yeah, there's that, mm -hmm. you know, with that one point, it's kind of, it's kind of awkward situation there. And the way it's currently set up now is, you know, if you have people coming in and you have somebody trying to get out out of the, um, out of the, the right parking lot, mm -hmm. you know, they have to cross over that lane. If you kind of shifted everybody through, it kind of it alleviates the flow a little bit. Mm -hmm. Other, so that everybody going, you know, everybody would be coming out on the left. Um, anybody going in would go in on the right, and there wouldn't be a crossover, you know, an intentional crossover of traffic yeah. in that area. And then at the same time, that would kind of help you tighten up some of the, the blacktop there so you don't have as much of it and reduce some mm -hmm. of the impervious surface, which I think that's what the uh, engineer was trying to get at. Right. Yeah. No, I understand that. And they also asked that this be... <coughs> This wide, I mean, this big of a radii. I'm not sure what their their purpose was, but I can talk to them about that. This one is is striped so that if a fire truck had to get through, it could get through that area. But okay. I'll well, I, we will have to you know circulate this to the fire department to look at. Right, they'll have to look. Yeah, the fire Prevention Bureau will probably review that and, and come back with comments. I'm not sure if they already did. Um, I don't know. But even with a, if, if it becomes revised, uh, you know, they would want to, you know, make comment on the revised yeah. version. So I'll, I'll discuss it with them and, you know, you take your comments and then come back with what they'd like and see what I can do to tweak it. Well, I mean, I, I think the board is pretty much in like agreement, right? That we do that we do want the, you know, the two ends, uh, you know, the two two yeah, lots. Yeah, we want to see one. a traffic controlled situation. Yeah, because that is not controlled. It, yeah, people you, need to be able to roll in and not stop on the well, way in, got, so they don't back up on Brown Road and stuff. Well, what? Okay, because what you have, if you have both in okay. here, yeah. and everybody always coming out here, you just stacked everybody, all this entire parking lot just stacked up through here. Or, or Pete, did you say you want this two way? No, no, one way. So if it's all one way in, yeah. that's okay. But at the end, that means it's the entire right. parking Everybody lot have to, exit. have to come out through here. And I've, I mean, I've got the slopes in the backup plan in there. Or well, up at the top, up at the top, it looks like the slope difference is about two feet. Yeah. But but down, but down there, but down there by the house, it looks like by your plants about six feet difference from the from you know the parking lot down to uh, you know the access access point. Right. I think on the plan I had the slope written, so that. Yeah, I, I think yeah with the traffic movement though you're talking about bottlenecking. I think it's either mm -hmm. way it's going to be a bottleneck even if it's coming you know out from the right side, you know or having a bottleneck up at the top, you know closest to the temple coming, you know, through that upper parking mm -hmm. lot. And either way, it's... Any way you draw uh, it. It's there's going to be something, but it'd be less confusing at the, you know, at that intersection, you know, leading to all of those if everybody just went to the right. I think that's what they're, everybody's kind of getting to, is if they all come in, go to the right, they go up the one aisle, they can come... Um, you know, or go up the center aisle, they could just come back through. And then if everybody's coming out that one way, they're already to the other side, to the left side, and they don't have to cross over anybody coming in in order to get out of the, mm -hmm. you know, out of the property. Right. If it you... appears any way you draw it, you're gonna have two lanes converging into one at some point. And I think the congestion up at the top will be better than at, near the entrance. Okay, the congestion at the top will be where the pedestrians are, so. It's a matter of congestion in the pedestrian area versus congestion. You have congestion pedestrians area. walking to their cars, they'll have to watch out for it too. Mm -hmm. And, you know, and, I, and the, the other thing with this is most people are going to fill these parking spaces first. 
so that people will come up and you know these might get taken, the handicap over here will get taken, then these over here and here will get taken, and these will be the last ones. So I'll, I'll review it. And It might be something that you could look into, possibly, mm -hmm. you know, tweaking a little bit. Yes. All right. Okay. Um, the other things we had was um, our second comment was um, uh, the plan has labeled uh, where there's an existing driveway um, up in there, and but when I went out there the other. Um, the other day, it's not really a gravel drive anymore. You know, it's overgrown, mm -hmm. so nobody's using it. So you know, it's fine. Cause we're not going to go do it anyway. Really leave it there. Okay, because it, it's also it's a, except for when there's snow, it's an emergency yeah. access. And then um, I wasn't sure why why you're not um, out removing you know, all this because you know it's useless. And you know, I know you're taking out this, but why not just take out take out all this and make it lawn area? I. I just, I left, well, there is a garage here, so I'd wanted something, you know, to get the mower and out. The other thing, too, is, like, one time we were up there, the kids' ride-on toys were up in here. So I wanted to leave it so that the kids in the house could, you know, be on their big wheels and things. I mean, that's really up to the board. But I mean, that's I up know. to the board. What is your reason for that? There's, there's kids living in the house, and then they can have their ride-on toys, and their little big wheels or tricycles or whatever on the existing asphalt. And how old are these kids? Well, the, the I'm toy kidding <laughs> with you. I'm kidding. I know the, kid, the toys I saw that were like little, little, little kid toys. Not, but that's, but that's up to you guys. I mean, I can reduce it or whatever. I just. Yeah, I, mean, that I, mean, that, I don't think it's going to affect anything if it stays. Uh, no, I just brought it up. I mean, it's really, yeah. it's really a board decision. It's not really an engineering yeah, issue. I mean, it's cutting. I mean, the, the, the most important part was uh, removing the, the entrance, which was close to the right, intersection. Right, Brown Road. Yeah. Right. Yes. And, um, and I understand getting rid of asphalt. Just yeah. All right, the other thing is, and again, uh, when we meet with the highway superintendent, or when we meet with the highway mm -hmm. superintendent, uh, this is gonna this is gonna be curved, so we should take the curves and maybe set them back a couple feet on each on each end, and then also have a taper on the end of the okay, curve, so like we a don't DOT. Have, so we don't have an issue with um, yep. snow plows. Um, on the grading plan, uh, you should have, there's um, there's a swale that runs that runs down along here. Mm -hmm. We should probably just put a couple uh, pipes underneath the sidewalk somewhere we get up sure. there. And uh, some of uh, the light pole, light pole bases are shown right in, in, the, uh, in the in the drainage swell mm -hmm. on the plan. So yeah. you should. They're going to be. Correct that. Concrete um, ones. We talked before. I wasn't sure about uh, the building code as to whether uh, both the temple and the house had to be ADA accessible. Uh, we don't think so after like discussing it, yeah. but it's something that we should just that you should check, and then you know we'll check it also. Yeah. But um, we just want to make sure that this doesn't have to be um, ADA accessible. That's because no, the, yeah. the house the, is not. I was just say what, what. But I'll, I'll check it. <coughs> yeah, I guess the question was, what, what's the house being used for? It'll, it'll be used for residents. It'll still be used for residents for the priests that live. Yeah. Excuse me. It's for the priest. So it's it's just the for the priest. So no okay, public so access it, into the into the house. No, no, everything no office else, in there. That's all up here. Okay, so everything associated with the church would be confined within the um, uh, the within the church or temple. I mean, it would all be in there. Mm -hmm. So there's no other use of the the house other than just for living quarters. Yes. Yeah. I mean, it's, it's currently occupied by the priest, and it's continued. Okay. Okay. Yeah, All right, so we'll check that. We mm -hmm. Yeah, just, we, we, we can check, check that. that. And then um, uh, I know it's not on this plan, but uh, you have a uh, you have a swale coming out of this parking lot going into a uh, catch basin over here. I just thought maybe to capture that runoff, you could just put a little stone fill mm -hmm. in here, maybe. Sure. And uh, you obviously you have to get a town highway permit for the work along um, Brown Road. We had a bunch of minor comments. I'm not going to go through them on them on the storm drainage report, mm -hmm. it was minor, very, very mm -hmm. minor. It's just 
like corrections. So uh, you can go look at sure. those. But that was it for our stuff. About the sidewalk. Sidewalk. Yeah, I did before. Okay. Yeah. Um, so our first comments are regarding the EAF. Um, it, it does know Indiana bat, so we were curious if you were removing any trees. There, there will be some trees that will be removed there over in this area, and I'll add a note to the plan that says it's the November to Right, for the tree March. cutting yes. associated with the Indiana I bat. I forgot to add that to the plans. Okay. So that will be added to the plans. Okay. Um, it also says Blanding's turtle. I don't believe there's any wetlands on the site, but if you can just confirm that so we know that yeah, that's not an issue. Um, or if there, there might be some way up here in the back. This is, this is all mowed. Mm -hmm. So. Yeah, I, I don't think it'll be an issue, but we should address I'll it. I'll respond Yeah, for the secret yeah, review. Um, as well as it being designated for uh, sensitive for archaeological sites, so we'll need to just confirm. What, what I need is I've already actually submitted. I need a letter from the planning board or from some, you know, something to send because this is under your acre. The only thing that I'm going for is seeker and SHPO or OPRH, whatever, will not do their review for only seeker. Okay. If, I was, if I was over an acre and I was doing the DEC, they would. And all I need is a letter from you guys. I think we had says, to do that on another project. And, and, and David, David yeah. is aware of this, if you want to check with him okay. or with I, Barbara. I, and if I, if I can get that letter as soon as possible. I recall that we had to do that on another project. Yes. So. And I, I've already submitted everything except in that he's waiting for that before he goes forward with his review. Okay. Um, the next comment had to do, we asked the question about the existing trees, which you've answered. If you could just mark those on the plan. Um, and then there are some existing trees along the front, but we weren't sure what was going to be removed. So we would like there to be some additional screening plantings, nothing too large, just supplemental plantings to do some screening. Yeah, the only, there's a tree right in here that'll be yeah. removed. Um, and there'll be the bushes put in here. Okay. So planning board have where they're looking because this whole, all this whole tree area here actually got a little aerial now that shows where the trees are. They'll be removed, which you'll get in your next submission. Right. So it'll be more open to the parking lot now. So we were asking for some supplemental plantings in there to try to infill. To, yeah, to a try to fill in the area to, yeah, to do some screening of the parking. Yeah, because this is the area pro that gets opened up. Yeah. Okay. So do you, do you guys have a preference? As long as it doesn't block the line of sight. Right. Yeah, but, yeah, yeah. It'll, it'll be back from the... Yeah. yeah. I mean, yeah. I mean I, we don't have any preference. I mean, you could White come up with or? some type of, uh, you know, landscape, whatever the... Yeah, just try it, like, for a non-invasive species. Yeah, it's a native. It's, yeah, native, non-invasive. And it's a conifer. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but just show us what they're proposing. Okay. Um, the lighting, you did submit the lighting plan. Uh, we just had a question um, if the lights were going to be on all the time or if they're going to be on a timer. That I'll, I'll have to check because I haven't. Yeah, didn't, I um, because to check, but if I'll, there's I'll, not nighttime services, it would seem that they yeah. wouldn't need to be on all the time. Right, and if, if, it, if they are on the... Let's try to get the reduced lights once because sometimes they, <coughs> this area may not get the kids parking. Mm -hmm. And with the house here, they may not park. But I'll see whether they're going to be a timer to turn them all the way off or, or a timer at a but certain I, time. I'll respond to that. Okay. Um, the next are related to site circulation and parking. Mm -hmm. Some of this we already went over. Um, that internal intersection, just tightening it up a little bit to reduce some of the impervious surface. Mm -hmm. Um, we talked about the one-way aisle on the mm -hmm. left-hand side. Um, we're asking for appropriate traffic control signing to be installed, and all pavement markings should follow the standards of the manual and uniform traffic control devices. Uh, we're recommending that painted arrows shown on the plan and marked to be removed on our sketch not be shown on the site plan. Um, and then you, you had already addressed this. We were just requesting that the intersection site distance be provided at the new driveway. Any of the members?
members have any other questions? No. Okay. I mean, I um, as there's only one meeting in February, could we get a public hearing for February? The February meeting? For February? It's February 3rd, I think. Because I um, don't know if any of these changes would be that major to. Would you be able to have some changes? When would you be able to have the changes submitted by? By yeah. this coming Monday, maybe even this week. Okay. Um, we have enough time, Dave, for the uh, submission, so for the February meeting? Okay. All right, so the board, um, do we want to uh, schedule a public hearing? Or I get a motion to schedule a public hearing for, so February, 3rd. for February the 3rd. February 3rd. Second. Motion's made and seconded. All in favor? Aye. 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 Any opposed? Okay, so the motion carries. So we'll see you on the 3rd. Next item on the agenda is the Thomas Ground Mount Solar Panels. Happy New Year, everyone. Hi, good evening. So, since the last meeting, I guess uh, you went to the zoning board. Um, Got a received a variance for the, uh, um, I guess for the uh, the size of the uh, solar array that you're proposing. Correct. Okay. Okay. So let me get my uh, my note here. Right. Okay. You've received the letter from uh, from the planner. Yes. Regarding this. Okay. <coughs> And basically, there's really no other information, I guess, that we're that we're looking for at this point. Um, it seems that what you've submitted is satisfactory. <clears throat> so, at this point, um, we feel because you, we have to take a vote on whether or not to hold a public hearing for the project. Um, at this point, I mean, what does the board feel? Do we feel that this is necessary to have a Public hearing for solar array. It's just an addition to what's already there. No. Okay. So we get a motion to waive the public hearing for this project. I'll make that motion. I'll second. Okay. Motion's made and seconded. All in favor? Aye. 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 Okay. So um, basically, at this point, is we're not asking for any more information, and um, uh, we have adequate screening screening from the neighboring properties. Uh, and go ahead and authorize the planner for a resolu uh, to write the <coughs> draft resolution for our next meeting. So if we get somebody who wants to make that resolution, or make that. I'll make that motion. Make the motion. I'll second. Okay, so motion made second to have the planner draft resolution. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Any opposed? Okay, so the motion carries. So we will get that put together and that will be voted upon at the next meeting. Thank you. Okay, you're welcome. All right. So that being completed. Now we'll open go to the public hearing for this evening. Um, the 479 Oil Industrial Road Apartment problem. House. We get a motion to open the public hearing. So moved. No second. Okay, motion made and seconded. All in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Okay, motion carries. So the floor is yours, gentlemen. <clears throat> so I believe we've addressed the, the concerns of the uh, engineer and planner's office to a large extent. Some of the 
correspondence with like the DEC about the, uh, the bats. We haven't heard back from them, but sent a letter. And uh, uh, so you have a copy of that. And we've asked for a, a uh, determination of their jurisdiction, which is standard procedure since it, the, this uh, bat habitat is all over this whole area, the homes, the whole towns. And so I'm expecting to hear back from them pretty soon. And um, they said it's really just a formality that the mm -hmm. bats don't winter here if, as long as the trees are taken down before March 31st, I believe, then the bats don't have a, that's not an issue that's an impact there. We're, we're talking about seven trees. That we're talking about. All right. Did, did, he, did, did they get a copy of the? I have a copy for them. Okay. All right. Oh, <coughs> so. Yes. Oh, I did. Oh, she did. Okay. Thanks. 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 <laughs> okay. All right. So, okay, so we understand that there there might be conditions that that we have to satisfy before we can move to Right. So basically the. Uh, I guess the, the resolution was written and there's a lot of, um, uh, I guess there's some things that you brought in today um, that were addressed, you know, in that, uh, for that resolution. Um, so we're just going to work off of that resolution, being that you brought in the documentation today, nobody's been able to um, fully review what you've delivered. Yeah, um, so they can use that to go through the process and just use that as a checklist that you've taken care of, yep. um, taking care of all the items that were open from the previous meeting. Uh -huh. <clears throat> um, also, I believe there was a, uh, um, I, I think this um, environmental assessment form you had submitted needed oh, to be I, updated. Yeah, I updated that to add the Department of Public Works. I did talk with Steve Gill. Up at Okay, but the, but the description of the project was also, um, it says four dwelling units, four, uh, as opposed to what we're approving is going to be three uh, dwelling units. Previous form. Yeah. That's yeah. Not updated. I, I don't, I think uh, if you could just, for the record, if that could also be submitted so that we have oh, a complete, yeah. you know, that everything coincides yeah, with the, the, the file yeah, documents. Many updates along the way so that was wonderful. and now that and now that now that you've confirmed with, uh, with with the county that you don't need to do anything with them when you uh, resubmit you know the EAF mm -hmm. and uh, you might as well you might as well take off um, county county public works as a approval agency now that you know we know for sure that they're not involved yeah so. I thought you only got back to me today yeah so. no no yeah, yeah. yep that's fine okay um, then there was no, you had no other open-ended. Uh, no, I, I had the one uh, comment there about uh, contacting uh, the county, but that's been done. And then um, our other comment under, um, you know, the plans was just to have a, have a note on the plan that if, if, if they ever have to install the uh, future SDS um, expansion area, there's a very slight uh, encroachment on the, on the floodplain. So we just wanted a um, note put on the plan that just said that if the uh, expansion area ever had to be installed in the future, that the owner would um, uh, would contact the town uh, floodplain administrator just to see if there was, in fact, uh, a permit that was required. And I just looked uh, quickly on the plan that was submitted today, and it does appear that you know the note's on there. But again, before before you're going to um, sign it you know we'll double right. check we'll that make sure so, that everything's right. in place we've and included it as a condition yeah right mm -hmm. and then okay. uh you know health department approvals required obviously right so, yeah uh, but i had a question how, how come uh, why do they have to go get some kind of a determination from uh the dec on the trees why can't they just cut them before march 31st uh, uh we just require them to put the note on the plan we usually okay. have the applicant reach out and get the actual letter from dec oh, okay. and that that's all that we're asking for in comment D is so that it doesn't get forgotten that they have to cut uh, them before March 31st. Yeah, and include that okay. information with the plan. Yeah, I was told that sometimes they go to the site to see if there are any uh, roost trees. evidence of nesting or whatever the bats do <laughs> in the trees, but a lot of times they don't bother when it's a small uh, impact. So mm -hmm. that's 
Yeah. Well, he has them listed as maples, so it's typically what shag bark hickory. Right. And it's yeah. And these are maples, I think. Almost all the trees I could find were maples. Yeah. yeah. So that's not bad habitat. So there's no. Yeah. So there's really no trees that may be an issue then. It's pretty minor. No, so it, it'll just be the standard, more than likely the standard note of take them down during the acceptable time. Okay. How, how close is your engineer to getting a uh, health department? We have a letter from the health department saying that it's kind of a conditional approval that <clears throat> that's as far as they wanted to go before we got the town approval. Oh, okay. All right. It was a chicken and egg. Chicken and egg, all right. <laughs> and and they, had, they had that at the CBA. Okay. okay. All right. So I guess at this point, um, I see that there's nobody here from the public. So there's, I guess at this point, we can make a motion to close the I'll public hearing. I'll make a motion to close the public hearing. Second. Okay. Motion made and second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Any opposed? Okay. So motion carries. Um, yeah, nobody has any questions for the applicant regarding the project. Um, we have the resolution in front of us for um, for approval. Uh, does anybody want to make a motion to approve? Uh, I'll move the, the resolution. Okay, so made a motion to approve the resolution as written. This is based on the three units, right? It's based upon the yes, correct. We have three correct. units. Okay. So Second. Moved. Second. Second. Okay, all in favor? Aye. Aye. Okay, any opposed? All right, so the motion carries. I have one question though for us. If he wants to cut those trees down before this March and they're only maples and this isn't all completed by that time, is there any reason why he can't cut them down before the letter? Uh, I don't know. I'm not really used to seeing the other letter. Until the site plan is signed, but they're really. Doesn't seem to be any showstoppers that this can't be done. Okay, so you should have plenty of time to get it done. Yeah, that's the standard. We usually get the letter from DEC that says, but that is their requirement. Right. Is the cutting of that time. So So I will ask you to bring in a complete set, not pieces, but everything together, and then we will buck it out to the consultants to try to get you a sure. quick turnaround and then I need seven copies for the chairman to sign with it. Okay. But you'll need to have, you know, your health department approval before <coughs> before we can authorize the chairman to sign. Yeah, that. A narrative when you submit it mm -hmm. on all the conditions in the resolution mm -hmm. and how you've taken care of it. Yeah. In that corrected EAF form. Right. Okay. Thank you. Okay. You're welcome. Thank you. All right. So our last item on the agenda this evening is the vote upon an extension for the Myers Corners Landing Subdivision. They're seeking their third two 90-day extensions on a filed subdivision approval <coughs> for Myers Corners Road. Um, if granted, the extension would begin on January 9th, 2020 through July 8th, 2020. We have a motion to approve the extension. I'll make that motion. Second. Okay, motion's made and seconded. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Any opposed? Okay, motion carries. Being over to the end of the agenda, is there any other items that we need to discuss this evening? That's a question. Yep. For maybe everybody here. This thing with tractor supply, is this, are they all done now? They don't have to come before us anymore? No. Or they have to? They do not have to come back to you unless they want to make changes. At this point, we're waiting for our team here for compliance letters, approving that everything has been satisfied as written in the resolution. Okay. Because what, what we should have done, I think, that we should have had them have the wells attached to the properties tested so that there's any further problems in the future that these are already on record 
And I think that's something, if it's not too late, can we request the wells to be tested? That protects everybody. To say that what's in there now and what can be, might be in the future. It's tested as far as? Contaminants or everything, because that's what all the citizens were, that border that were concerned about. That was a lot of their concern. We can ask the applicant. Um, to test now and then when they're finished? Well, no, just test now test and then down now, the road so if they have a yeah, that's where you have a baseline. Yeah, yeah. Right. five years from now and they say their well's contaminated and it's tractor supply that they don't have a recourse to come back to us because we've asked yeah. that this be done. Like just what happened up in East Fishkill on the mountain, same thing. That protects everybody from that, really. We'll, re we'll reach out to them. I mean, it's not a you know, condition, but... It's not, but I know yeah. that was one of the concerns of the public at that time and it, it certainly protects them from you know claims in the future so uh, they right. may be amenable to it yeah, it gives that people a little peace of mind How i mean the only the only problem is we well, gotta get permission you gotta obviously. get permission from well the and residents. if they decline that they don't right, want to have their right, right that's right right, right that's their choice it's, it's their it's on them. right 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 you know but then the were they storing right. i think they were storing any did, did, did they have any kind no of they don't have anything Right, yeah. There's nothing, but a lot of people were concerned well, about that. Yeah. yeah. I think that would help. Will just you reach, out, will you reach I mean, out to Neil? Yeah. yeah, I'll reach out to Neil. I mean, the other thing, too, is I don't know if there's, I mean, every time a house sells, single family house sells in the town, there is a requirement for a well test. So, Correct. You know, but we just want to make sure that we have a clean slate going into this, and they have a clean slate, and there's no repercussions next year about chemical issues. Because somebody can go just, just dump something down a well and blame tractor supply, and yeah. there's no record. And no, I mean, the other thing, too, is I, I, I think we probably need to also have some sort of a time frame as far as when the, you know, what what the, the, the tail end is for, you know, um, acceptance. And I guess the other question is which properties, uh, I don't, you know, I don't know if, I would say everything that's adjoining that site. Yeah, everything on Fowler House and Borders. That's only a well, seven or eight houses. Well, uh, I mean, we're talking both sides of the street? Just or? right to the just property. The just on the one side. Yeah, just on the one side. Okay. Well, we'd also have to, uh, assuming that they're, uh, like, amenable to it, um, you know, after the fact, we'd also have to tell them what, uh, you know, to test for. Well, I mean, I think you it know, would the parameters. be. parameters. I mean, unless. You do kind of the typical. A full New York State park. Yeah, five. five. You know, I, 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 mean, I, I, I think, think that the makes the most sense to what, what, yeah, I, yeah, what I, mean, I would questions. what I would suggest is the test in accordance with what what's in our town code, what yeah. we require on a sale. Yeah. So that's fine. And to the extent that you know, because one of the things too is to the extent they do them all together, you know, the, the, you know, they just ship them off to the lab at the same time. Oh yeah, yeah. I mean, it's, yeah. I mean. So it'd be so. basically the, the basic water, standard water test that the town requires now in a right. transaction of sale? Right. Okay. And that picks up for pesticides and chemical no, no, contaminants. Yeah. I mean, it's, 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 pretty, pretty, it's for, pretty, yeah. it pages. So it's pretty extensive? It's six or seven hundred dollars. Well, that's almost, I mean, if it's, if it's six, seven hundred dollars, that's almost a complete right. New York State Part 5. I think they're it around is, that was, That's what we require, the Part 5. Oh, really? Oh, well, then it's a full test, then, so yeah. you're going to get, you're going to get you know, everything. everything. I mean, it's up to them, but I think I would like to see it. But mm -hmm. it's, it, you know, it's certainly protective from a litigation point of view to the extent that anybody's going to complain. Yeah. So. But, okay. yeah. I think it's a good idea. Yeah. I mean, cooperation from, you know, we're going to have to get waivers and well, stuff. The, from the applicant, neighbors. yeah. Because the applicant's willing to do it, it would make sense on their part. Like you said, I, I agree it'd be an insurance policy on their part. You know, protect them for the future. I mean, right. even though they were, you know, they, they did, you know, state that everything is being stored inside. They should have wanted as much as we did. Right, exactly. Exactly. I mean, the, like I said, the only concern is recalcitrant neighbors. Yeah. Well, that's, yeah. So, I, you but know, that, I think, yeah. you know, send notice and... You know, if they don't respond within yeah, well, they a would have to do that. Time. We, yeah, they have to give them you know a time period. Right. You know, they're obviously going to say, well, um, you know, if they didn't mind doing it, they're going to say, well, we don't want this to hold up. 
you know, the signing, yeah, signing I don't, the map, but right, I mean, right. can we right. somehow, but if they're, right, if they're we, willing right. to do it, maybe we can tie it to something else like the issuance, of of a, issuance of a building permit or yeah. a CO or right. something. Start of construction. Yeah, yeah. That, that's fine. All right. I mean, I think they would. That's fair. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, was fair. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. All right. Yeah. So you'll contact Neil because I'm going to send out some emails, you know, tomorrow as far as what our like review. They're just about they're just about done. I talked to uh, Mike Tremper today about a couple things to do with uh, the water supply, and I got to just touch base with the county health department on backflow prevention. But I'll do that. I'll do that first thing in the morning. Other than that, they pretty much uh, addressed all of ours, and I'll write uh, a letter. There's a couple Jim, things. I just need a, we need there's a couple letter. things I want them to add okay. to the map. So, okay. but they're close. So if there would be, I don't know if they have health department approval yet. I'm going to ask when I email. Okay. Well, they'll tonight need that or in the, to get the map signed. Huh? They need that. Oh to yeah. Get the map signed. Yeah. Yeah. Well, um, well, they don't have a map. They just have a plat. I mean, well, a site plan. Well, the site, site plan, plan yeah. has to have health department. Yeah, they got to have health department. That was a, a I thought condition. we delayed that condition until building permit. Did we? we I don't know. In the past. Can we send around? I, th I think I sent an email late today, but uh, can, 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 can you send uh, around? Because I, I think the final approval resolution was um, tweaked at the meeting and then. Um, right because we added a bunch of things or took out some things. So if I can get a copy of the final one. Okay. And what about the cross access easement? I have a copy of it, so. And that's okay to form? I believe so. So. Okay. So. If I can get the that then. I cure stuff on a separate plan. So they, so there's two resolutions. So there'll be two site plans to Oh, yeah, we have Acura, too, right? Right. And the cross-access easement, does that get filed in the clerk's office? Yes, or the, town, county? the county clerk's office. The county clerk. So we'll need an approval letter and the original of that. Mm -hmm. And then the other thing, I wasn't sure when I was going through uh, the resolution today, <coughs> not the other resolution, but um, their response to our comments was I think we got an approval letter, some kind of a conceptual approval letter from the Department of Transportation for the access. So I just want to make sure that we have that. I'm pretty sure we did, we did like receive that, they'll, but. They'll also have to submit the actual permit, construction permit yeah. to get a, a building permit to start. Okay, did they don't need a, do they need a building permit to start um, site work now? Well, we're gonna do a pre-construction meeting Okay. So we require everything to be in place because at that point they're going to start. Right. Because I think there's, I think the conceptual approval authorized like a construction act at that entrance or something. We still need the actual right. yeah. permit. Peter, do you need both resolutions? Both? Access uh, you know, um, I forgot about, you know, the Acura one. Yeah, that would be good. Okay. Yeah. I don't, I don't know what, you know, conditions were on the accurate one, or if there's any things that had to be done on the plans. Because okay. they submitted all that stuff right around, uh, you know, the holidays, and you know, it just wasn't, yeah. it, was, it was kind of tough to get to it, so. I, yeah, you know. I know that the, the, the resolution was kind of brought up on the floor, and a lot of things were tweaked, so. Um, yeah, just like know, During that the process, there was a, a lot of information that was added to it. Right. Um, so it's probably be good that every actually that everybody gets circulated. Yeah, I'll coordinate you know with Sarah's office too, and you know, like Jim and yeah. make yeah. sure to make sure that we got everything covered on you know and both of them. Sarah, maybe Sarah, why don't you or David just resend the amended copy? That's what I'll do. Because there's yeah. been so many copies this way. If you send it to all of us, we know that's the working yeah. final copy. Yeah. For both of them. Yeah. Yeah, yeah that's good. Okay. I want to make sure that we cover everything. Right, that we cover everything that needed to be addressed. And the reason Alec was here, he was hoping to check with the two of us to see what they need to have the resolution signed. You know, just one of a checklist. But we can talk and I said we plan on tomorrow. working on it tomorrow morning, and we'll send him a checklist. We'll be in the afternoon. I'm sorry? We'll discuss it in the afternoon yeah. when I'm done, yeah. and yeah. then we'll yeah. call him or send him a checklist. That was just a courtesy, but he didn't realize the meeting was that. Okay. 
And so. I'll coordinate with you, B, because you would have the copy that actually has all the blanks filled in in the revised version. Yes. I won't have that, okay. so, but I'll make sure that that's the version because okay. there were a few copies. Do you copies. Want me to get it? No, that's okay. I can Is coordinate with you okay. tomorrow. That's oh, fine. Okay. But if I circulate the last copy that I have, it won't have all the blanks filled in that B mm -hmm. fills in at the end. So. Okay. Is there any other business we need to discuss this evening? No. Okay. Get a uh, motion to adjourn. I'll make that motion. I'll second. Okay. All in favor? Aye. 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 <coughs>